Okay, in this video we're going to go over shading Venn diagrams. This is part two of our sets, complements, unions, and intersection series. So let's get started with this example. We are trying to shade A complement union B. Now there's two ways that I do it, and I'm going to show you the normal way that people will do it in class, and then we'll go over another way that I like to do it. Now I'm on I'm using a drawing program, which means that I can uh, color a lot easier than you could with uh, a pencil. Uh, but you'll get the idea, and I think you'll do it just fine. Okay, so we're doing A complement union B. So let's figure out where A complement is first. Now, A complement would be everything that's not an A. So that would be that right there. See, A is the only part that didn't get shaded. So there's A complement. And then I'm going to union that with B. So let's see what, where is B? Choose a different color. So here's B. All right, so if you're using a pencil, then you're probably going to be using straight lines like this. All right, so there's B. And you're being asked to find the union between A complement and B. Now, the fact that you're being asked to do a union, what your final answer is going to be all shaded regions. If you're unioning them together, your answer is going to be all of the shaded regions. Okay, so that would mean, well, all of this stuff on the outside and everything in B. So the only part that doesn't get shaded would be inside here. Okay, uh, so let's see here. Let's pick... Should I do it in a different color? Because I guess what you can do then is you can shade everything, but I I sorry, you could do something like this, I guess, but I don't I don't really like that. Uh when you're doing your final answer, what I would like you to do is either darken in the shaded region with a, a different color or just with your pencil. Just do something like this. Okay. See I don't even I mean it gets a little messy. So that's okay. And then everything in here. Okay, so what you can do is you can label this is um, go off to the side and say black region is your final answer. So black region equals final answer. Okay, something like that. Or you can, once you figure out what the final answer is, what you can do, oops, I have to erase this, start at the beginning again. I guess I don't have to delete everything. Just start at the beginning again, choose a different color, and something like that. So in this case, my final answer is the entire red uh, region. Okay. So that's using the... Uh, the method of just actually shading everything in and then figuring out what regions count. Uh, the other way that I wanted to do it okay, would be first to label all the regions. So in this Venn diagram we have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so what is a complement? A complement is regions two and three, or are the regions two and three. And what is B? B would be three and four. And I want to, I'm sorry, A complement is not two and three. That's A, sorry, A complement is one and four. That's better. So A complement is one and four. Uh, let's see, B is three and four, okay. So then if you're looking for the union of A complement and B, okay, well that's just going to be the union of all these regions. So that will be 1, 3, and 4. So that means go and shade regions 1, 3, and 4. So then you can go ahead and shade 1, 3, and 4. And that matches what we got in the last example. But I think this example, I think doing it this way helps out a lot because you're not, your Venn diagram is not going to get very messy. 
All right, so let's go ahead and try another example. Okay, in this example, we want to shade A union, and then we have B intersect C complement. All right, so let's do it both ways. We'll do it with the shading way first, where you shade everything, and then we'll do it the second way. Okay, so let's do A. All right, so that's easy. So if I'm going to shade an A, let's just pick, oop, I don't want to use black. All right, so there's A. And then I want B intersect C complement. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to outline, let's outline B intersect C. Okay, so B intersect C would be right here. So then what you would do is you would color in this if, for B intersect C, which means B intersect C complement would be everything else. So this is B intersect C. That includes all this too. And then typically what you should do is go off to the side and say uh, like B intersect C complement is that. That way I know which, you know, or you know which, um, what these, these lines here, I don't know what color this is, uh, but whatever color this is, it represents B intersect C complement. Okay, and then... Oh, and then you just union these together. So A, let me do this, A equaled, I think it's this color. They kind of look different. But okay, so there's A, B intersect C, is this uh, these lines here. So if we're going to union these together, you would take all of the regions. Okay, so it's all shaded regions. So our final answer is everything that's shaded except for right here. This is the only part that hasn't been shaded. So that's the only part that doesn't count. Everything else counts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take red and I'm going to shade in everything okay, except for that region. Okay, and then somewhere I'll write Final answer, so final would be the red region. Okay, so let's do this again using the other method. Okay, so let's label all the regions. Uh, when you have three circles, there's a total of eight regions. So we got one, oops, let's use a darker color. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You don't have to do out here because all of this is that first region. Okay then. All right. So what is A? A is our uh, regions two, three, five, and six. So two, three, five, six. Okay, so what's B intersect C? Well, that's region 6 and 7. So that means what's B intersect C complement would be every all the other regions. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but just not 6 and 7. So, all right. And uh, what I want to do is I want to union these together. So it's going to be these regions, okay, plus these regions. So that means A union B intersect C complement equals, or are going to be the regions of 1, 2, 3, 4, C, 5, and 6. And I think, I feel like I'm missing one here. Oh, okay, I, do, I don't have eight. 
for B intersect C complement, there's also eight. Okay. And then so my answers will be one, two, three, four, five, six. No seven. Notice that the union, there's no seven in both of these. And then finally eight. So now go and shade all those regions. So shade region one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. So this matches what we got in the last example. And I think, you know, we're at 10 minutes now, so I think we'll end it there. Um, personally, I like this method better because it's not as messy and it's really just doing an easy example of what part one was about where you were just taking a bunch of numbers and intersecting them and you know what do they have in common and, and unioning them um, but okay so we'll end it here and if you have any questions uh, request that and I can do a follow-up video